one inch. That's all that is. Not much, is it? But if you're trying to hit just one inch before the ball in the bunker, then good luck. Let's have a go at it. Let's see if I can hit the sand one inch before the ball, which is just there. Let's listen to, to hear what happens. We heard the golf ball, and obviously the ball has gone way too far, it's gone over the green, and that's what we run the risk of if we're only trying to hit one inch before the ball. It's very easy to hit the ball cleanly. And even if you do hit that one inch before the ball, more often than not, you're still gonna get contact. The club is still gonna contact the golf ball because one inch just isn't enough in the bunker. I'm gonna ask you to change that mindset to not really how far behind the ball you're going to hit it, but just to try to get the ball in the middle of the divot. So have a couple of goes without the ball. That's really key here. So get into a practice bunker, draw a little line there, and have a couple of splash shots, a bit of practice, and see if you can get that divot on the line. So half the divot's gonna be before the line and half the divot afterwards. That's too early. Step forward, have another go at it, and that's more like it. We we'll see we get the divot right around where the golf ball is. We want the ball to be in the middle. One or two more goes. Fraction early, and that's good. So get into the habit of getting the ball in the middle of the divot, that's gonna give you your ideal chance of success getting out of the bunker and your greatest margin of error that's really key and now when you hit a golf shot then get a bit of feedback draw that line again opposite the golf ball and have a look to see where your divot is all right now that's much more like it we only heard the sand higher shot more spin more control and let's have a look at the divot so there's where the golf ball was opposite that line and we can see here that i've actually entered the sand three inches before the ball, and the ball is close to being in the middle of the divot, maybe just afterwards. Let's have one more go, see if I can do this even better. So there's your feedback line. Obviously you can't do that out in the golf course, but I encourage you to do this plenty of times while you're practicing your bunker shots. Get an idea of where your divots are, and see if you can adjust it so that the ball is in the middle of the divot. Have one more go, see if I can get that ball right in the middle of the divot. There we go. Spot on. We can see here that I've actually hit four inches before the ball. High, soft, spinning shot. No resistance, well, just the normal resistance that we get in a bunker. And you can see here that the divot is equidistant either side, so half the divot before the ball and half the divot after the ball, and the ball's right in the middle. That's the real key to success out of the bunkers, and it gives you the biggest margin of error that you can achieve. We want the club at the low point when it's coming underneath the golf ball. Forget about trying to hit the sand one inch before the ball, even two inches. Let's get the ball in the middle of the divot and you're gonna be much more consistent out of the sand. So myth in the bunker, hit the sand one inch before the ball, busted.